Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are off to Dogfest with Nala, which is my two and a half year old golden retriever. So I've booked the weekend ticket. It was meant to be really hot, but the weather's cooled down quite a lot and it's very cloudy out there. So it is kind of good enough to take her. I'm only taking her for the morning anyway on the Saturday and then we'll see what Sunday's like. It's meant to rain on Sunday. So yeah, come along with us. If you've never been to Dogfest, um, it's just like a massive outdoor dog event for dogs, basically. It's like a dog version of just like any normal festival. Loads of pop-up shops and dog competitions and dog shows and things like that. So yeah, it's very exciting. We've never been. This is the first time we've ever gone to one, so I don't really know what to expect, but yeah, I'll show you the clips of what we got up to on the day anyway. So just got back now, um, a little bit sunburnt and I don't know if that's a rash actually on my chest. Um, it was very cloudy but then the sun was coming out um, every now and then and then I think you can still get sunburnt even if it's cloudy and I didn't put any sun cream on which I should have done, never mind, we'll go again tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just going to take all of this makeup off because I'm melting and it's oxidised so much so I'm not even the same colour anymore. So to take it off, I think I'm just going to go with my Garnier Skin Active Aloe Refreshing Cleansing Milk. I don't even know if they still do this in the shops. I feel like I've had it forever and then I found it in my cupboard the other day and I was like... Maybe I should use this. I ran out of my Garnier cleansing water thing and I need to get another one. So for now this will do. There is no better feeling than taking all of your makeup off after it's been on. Especially in like a humid, oh my god, <laughs> humid or like hot, just sticky weather. So the dog festival was actually so good and it wasn't as hot as I thought it would be. Everyone was literally saying that. They were like, oh my god, I was so scared that it'd be too hot and we wouldn't be able to enjoy it. But it was actually not hot at all. Like some people were wearing jumpers. The dogs had like cute bucket hats on and outfits and yeah they didn't seem to be too hot or bothered to be honest um, and there was all different types of dogs like sausage dogs I think the sausage dogs were the dogs that were the most popular well there's a proper name for the sausage dogs isn't there but they were the most popular there today there was quite a lot of golden retrievers so that was nice but they were all like the fluffy big show type retrievers whereas now it's like a working retriever so everyone was like oh how old is your lab <laughs> and she is not a lab but yeah a lot of people thought she was a puppy as well and she's two and a half 
but she acts like a puppy as you could see on the video clips. So if you've never been to um, the dog fest I would highly recommend. It was quite pricey um, for the weekend ticket. I think it was about 25 or was that just for one day? I don't even know. I don't even know what I've paid because I booked it in advance because they sell out. Um, the one that I went to was in Knotsford, which is like Cheshire, um, in Tatton Park, I want to say. It's like a massive park and they have deers, um, sheep. Oh my God, sheep poo was everywhere. And Nala loves to roll it in sheep poo. So to her, it was like absolute heaven whilst I'm trying to keep her dry and clean for the day. But yeah, I actually went on my own as well. Um, I didn't go with anybody, which meant I could spend as much time as I wanted, where I wanted and do what I wanted, which was nice. So don't, if you've just got a dog on your own, don't be afraid to go because literally no one cared. That was just me and Nala, like no one looked at us like, you know, what are you doing here? So yeah, it was lovely. So this little thing um, is actually one of the freebies we got, which was very nice. Um, got this on that spin the wheel thing. Um, it's a poo bag holder. It says Fairy Adventure and it's from Twiggy Tags. So thank you to those guys because that was very nice to win one of them. And it just clips onto the lead so you don't lose your poo bags. I think that's amazing. So these were my essentials for today for Nala. Um, so this is like a collapsible bowl. I think it was only about £3 on Amazon. Um, and it folds up, you can pop it in your backpack. And then a big bottle with water. Um, fill that up for tomorrow ready. So then you can just top your bowl up. There was loads of drinking stations anyway. Um, loads of bowls and stuff. And then I've got some treats. So this is just for her when she gets a bit too excited and crazy just to keep her calm but there was loads of biscuits and things around anyway so that's all she needed oh and poo bags as well obviously so it's father's day tomorrow um and although cooper and nala aren't human children they are still very much part of the family and get treated as though they're children so for tomorrow i have picked up a few things that we can give to Aaron, um, well, I've ordered a few on Amazon and then picked a few up from B&M to go with the Amazon gift, if that makes sense. So this gift is kind of for Aaron, but also just for the both of us and the house really, because um, it's gonna go in the garden. So what it is, it's a wild bird feeder station. So that's what it looks like. So it is just like a metal stand and we're going to be able to hang things onto it so as silly as a gift it seems i'm so excited for this um it's just gonna look amazing in the garden and it's gonna entertain me it's gonna entertain him and nala because i don't know why but nala absolutely loves watching birds like she will just chill in the garden and watch them peck away at seeds it's so cute so if it gives her something to do other than barking in the garden then it's a win-win for everybody to go with the pole, I had to order like a stand off Amazon. I won't unpack this, I'll let Aaron unpack it tomorrow because I just can't be bothered trying to wrap an awkward shaped item. So the stand literally just goes at the bottom of the pole and it helps to stabilize it because the pole is just like one stick, if you can see on there. They actually popped up as a set together on Amazon. You know, when you add something to your basket and it's like, people have also brought this, so. I guess they go together. <laughs> I hope so. We'll find out tomorrow. And then to go with the stand, picked up a few bits in B&M. This first, like, refillable, reusable contraption. So this is a seed and nut mix. And then the other two things is the fat ball feeder and then another seed feeder. So these were two for £5 or £3 each. Um, again, I think these are going to be amazing. They've got like the metal tops on them. So they seem a bit more sturdy. And that one's got the two poles for the birds to sit on either side. 
Fat balls are gonna be good for them because they already like the fat balls that we've got in the garden now. And these again are refillable, so when you run out of your fat balls, you just lift that up and then pop more fat balls in it. So I just need to wrap these things up and then let him unpack it all in the morning. I feel like when things are wrapped, you're more excited for them and the disappointment isn't as harsh. I forgot about this little gem. So these are dried mealworms. Um, that was also B and M. I think that was about a pound, but these are just loose, dried up worms, um, and they're gonna go in that little mesh pot of the stand. Didn't know really what to get to be honest, and he can pick and choose and whatever he wants to put on it. Um, but I hope he likes it. I know I will. I don't know whether this is a gift for him or myself to be honest. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really that pricey, and it's gonna make him very happy. So I've packed the two boxes, the bird one and the Amazon parcel. Now I've still got him Jaffa cakes and these big share bag of um, buttons because he's obsessed with them. And he's already found them in the fridge because I couldn't hide them because they would melt. Um, and then this is the bird feeders because I just could not be bothered um, trying to wrap them up. So I just left them in a box as they are. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will be nice for him. This is probably the most I've ever done for a father's day um from a dog but it's the little things that matter so i hope he's happy yeah, yeah. thank you cute. Thank you. 